Joe, congratulations. Off and running here at the Masters. Very tidy performance. Must be happy with that. Yes, especially after a long layoff. It's, um, it's always nice to get a win and, and play well. You know, I would have took a win tonight regardless of the performance, but to combine the two, it's, it's pleasing, yeah. You know you're not a huge practicer when there's no tournament, so it's when did prep start for this? Uh, probably about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, the, the time off after the Worlds came at a great time. It, just, it was so needed. Last year was training, you know, darts and away from darts, so to have a couple of weeks off and not worry about that was really nice but I think to get back to some sort of normality especially with the calendar announced and it's hopefully going to be a full calendar for a change um, it, it can only be a good thing so I'm looking forward to the year ahead. You know you've probably seen the problems when you said about to play second field which everyone understands but now is it time to concentrate on the job again? Yeah it, it's, it's still difficult you know it's, but it's so close you know um, to home with you know, my mum she was like the you know, the corner bit of the family, so it's, it's, it's still bad days, and I'm sure there's going to be bad days, you know, years down the line. But I think darts, I've used, I've used it well. It's been, a, it's been a good distraction at times. Um, you know, away from it when it's, when I've been sort of sat alone, and that's when you have time to dwell on things. So darts has been, it's been, it's been really good for me. It's been a nice distraction. Talking about calendars and the pro tour starts after this, and then hopefully we get a Euro tour. Where do you see your game? Where do you want to be in the year for this full calendar? Game wise, it's difficult to gauge after one game. It's, you know, it's been a bit of a layoff, but judging by that tonight, it looks in pretty good nick. So, you know, getting back to Barnsley and even Barnsley, you know, we're, we're limited to guests with the uh, with the COVID. So it'll be nice to get, you know, a bit of a feeling back in because even even the one behind closed doors, where it's one guest per play, it doesn't have that that buzz that it does. Um, so, it, 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 like I say, even stupid as that, it's, it's nice to get a couple of guests in per player. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 going to be, it's going to be a good year. This sort of last year changed John Clayton's career. So you're, you're close to John. You reckon you can emulate him and do something similar? Yeah, yeah. Well, well John was looking to get in last year. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, widened the field to 24, didn't he? Otherwise, he would have been in. He would have been flashed in Saturday or Sunday as well. So, but no, John, John is a great guy and he's, he's shown that it wasn't you know a flash in the pan, you know, which it could be for, for any player, you know, any player would give the right answer get a TV title on the belt, but for Johnny to do it four times in a year is, is pretty incredible, considering that he'd not done it before, so, you know, hats off to him, but people like myself and people coming up and, and with similar ranks, you know, we, we take inspiration from people like Johnny, or I do at least, because that, that's what can be done, you know, just out of nowhere. If you want to win, this is going to be the hard way, you're in a nightmare part of the draw, Gary Anderson, the next level, you're going to be the so if you want to win, you're going to be some CV to get for it. Well, if you win it, you can't do any better, can you? You might as well retire. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's cliche as it is, it's one game at a time. If you, if you look past Gary Anderson, he'll, he'll do you 10 4. You know, that, that's, just, that's just the nature of the beast. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm, I'm confident going into it tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Right, so cheers, Bob. No, I've, I've always been the same. I've been asked this question loads of times. Everyone says, you know, you must be in for top 10, top 8. The, the rankings are pretty irrelevant. If you, if you focus on the rankings, it can, it can be your undoing. It's, if, you, if you win tournaments and play well, the rankings take care of themselves. So I try not to focus too much on the rankings. It's all about trying to keep winning tournaments. You know, I think I've won tournaments the last two, three years. So it's all about keeping that winning momentum and you know carrying on this year. Yeah, I knew I played okay, but when I looked at the averages, it was a bit better than what I was expecting. But. but that, that's is one of those, especially with you know a bit of a layoff, it can it come back and you know bite you in the behind, and you can play terrible the day after. But I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case this weekend. I'm you know I'm confident. I feel like my mind's clear, so you know why can't I go on with it? Yeah. No, I've, I've obsessed over the Premier League um, for the last well not I did it last year, but you know previous years I've obsessed over it, thinking that I'm maybe I'm going to shout, and it's just. It's been to my detriment, so if I get in the Premier League, great. But it'll happen one day, if it's this year, great. If it's five years down the line, so be it, you know. It's, it can be, it can kill players as well, so when it'll happen, it'll happen. No, Joe, with the gap between the World Championship and the Masters, was it important to use the time right and try and get the balance of the team as well? Yeah, yeah, the calendar's been pretty hectic, you know, come towards the back end of the year. Sort of even the weekend we've had off, we've had. You know, exhibitions and things like that, so it's been, been pretty packed. So 
it's, it was nice to have, I think I had like two and a half weeks off and it felt like, like a year, you know, because it's, it's that constant, but I'm, I'm fully aware of what's coming this year. We've got a full calendar, you know, back to normality. And you know, I, I can't wait, you know, I, I'm sure I'll be cursing it, you know, sort of the middle of March, in the April time, you know, one of the weekend off, but, you know, we, we, we were morning that there's nothing on and this, this year it's going to be a full calendar, so I can't wait. Johnny's the obvious example, but this is a tournament that can really set you up well for the year. You know, if you perform the rest of the year, you have to be a good fight. Yeah, yeah, but I, th I think I've got a bit of a different attitude now. Um, like things that have happened away from darts, it's, darts is darts pays the bills. And if, you, if you win at darts, great. If you lose at darts, you get to go home. If you complicate any more than that, that's when it can be, you know, to your detriment. So I'm just the, wor the worst worst case scenario this weekend is. I get to go home to my family, the best case scenario is I go on Masters Champion.